Greetings children. Welcome to the online classes. This is Aishwarya. Please like and subscribe the channel for the further updated videos. The following video is for class 5, subject EVS, cha uh, chapter 11, Nature of Matter, part 3. In part 1 and part 2 of this lesson, we learned what is a matter. Then matter is something that occupies space and has weight. Then we learned properties of matter. We did some activities to understand that the properties of matter are matter occupies space and matter has. So continuing with that, we are going to read from page number 137 from your textbooks. Keep a pencil with you so the activities we can finish it off. Okay. So, states of matter. Depending upon the arrangement of particles in the matter, different states of matter are recognized. So, here there is an activity. Fill up the following table using the clues. Required to burn. What do we need to require to burn? Firewood. To drink? Water. To breathe? Air. So, the answer is given in your screen. Please write that down in your textbooks using your pencil first answer is fire wood second one is water third one is air to breathe we need air isn't it yes continuing fill up the names of the matter filled above in the following table now here down they have given three solid liquid and gas solid means hard material out of these three which is the hard material firewood so in the first column you will write it as firewood liquid which gets the shape of the container which always gets the shape of container which one is that water Li liquid under the column liquid you should write water then gas which cannot be held is invisible spreads when uh, spreads can be experienced what is that air okay so by this we can come to know that there are three states of matter that is solid liquid and gas next there is one more activity list out the materials that uh, you know which are in the form of solid liquid and gas you can list out any number of materials some of the materials i have given it uh, for you on the screen for solids you can write book pen table other two you will write on your own liquids water milk coconut water then other two you write on your own gas oxygen co2 means carbon dioxide smoke then the next two you can write it on your own Think and group these materials in the particular column. Next also there is one small activity given. They have given few items and they have asked you to group it. Okay. So group it into solid, liquid and gas. That options given are buttermilk, candle, curd, kerosene, charcoal, honey, piece of brick, smoke. So uh, under solid, what are the... Uh, what are the things that will come under solid? Candle, charcoal, piece of brick. Are the answers are given on your screen. Please copy it down. For liquid, buttermilk, curd, kerosene, honey. For gas, smoke. Continuing the lesson. Matter is identified in its three different forms. That is solid, liquid and gas so the solid uh, the three main states of matter are the solid liquid and gas now we will understand how the what is the what is the solid what is the liquid and what is a gas we'll learn more about them how the molecules are arranged so what happens in solids in solids particles are densely and orderly arranged that means it is very closely arranged the particles or the molecules the round round objects that you can red color objects that you can see on your screen they are like the molecules so in solids particles are densely and orderly arranged example stone iron bed your um, clothes all these things they come under Solid. Then liquid. In liquid, the particles are loosely arranged when compared to 
solid you can see the space between the molecules the blue color objects the molecules that it is more that is why they cannot just stand in one place and they will just flow off example is water milk etc oil oil is also a good example of liquid okay anything that flows it does not stay in one place it flows so the that is why the particles are arranged loosely when compared to solid then the last one is the gases in gases the particles are rarely arranged okay they are they are very very far like the air the smoke etc they are very far and you cannot hold it okay it it will just move away from in the air okay the air itself it's a gas the air is made up of different kinds of gases also they are all made of these particles which are very rarely arranged okay next uh, here i can uh, again if you see that this is the particles or the molecules of solid liquid and gas together in one picture solid means they are very closely packed it is tightly packed then second one is liquid it is little loosely packed the gas it is it is not arranged at all the molecules or the particles are not arranged at all then there is one la uh, last activity in page number 139 let us conduct an experiment to know that the particles are loosely distributed in a liquid okay take a beaker completely filled to brim with water drop three pebbles into it now water spills out why think and write the answers because the marbles that you put inside the a jar needs inside the beaker needs space so the answer is given on your screen please write it down in your textbooks also take another beaker of the same size completely filled with water add some sugar powder of equal uh, weight equal to weight of the three marble did you find any difference in the water level observe and write water does not spill out because the sugar gets mixed with the water since sugar particles have combined with the water particles water does not spill out there is what there is space in the water molecules isn't it the particles that is arranged in the water have a little of space in that space the sugar particles will go and settle down that is why it is not uh, spilling the water outside so I hope you understood till here the remaining part of the lesson we'll finish it in the next chapter next video children stay at home stay safe take care of yourself keep learning children i hope you're doing the exercises uh, while watching the videos and i hope you are learning children thank you